I'm going to show you the Visual Studio Team Services integration extension for IBM Urban Code Deploy. The extension is available on the Visual Studio Marketplace. Once installed, you will have two new build extensions, both of which leverage the Urban Code Deploy command line client. The UD client is available from the Tools menu on your Urban Code Deploy server. Once you have downloaded and installed the UD client, all you need to do is add it to the path of your build agent machine. To demonstrate, first I'm going to create a new empty build definition and choose default for the agent queue so that I can use my local machine where I have already set up the UD client as my build agent. I'm going to add two tasks for demonstration. First is the urban code deploy client task and next is the urban code deploy component version task. Both of these tasks require a service endpoint to your Urban Code Deploy server instance. For the credentials, you can either enter your username and password, or if you would like to use a token, leave the username blank and enter the token for the password. I've created two of these endpoints to demonstrate each approach. Go to the settings page of your Urban Code Deploy server to generate and manage tokens. Back in the task, I select my endpoint. In the command arguments section, you can enter any set of commands supported by the UD client API. There are a rich set of available commands documented in, on the Urban Code Deploy website. For this task, I'm going to leave the default dash dash verbose command, which simply prints out the available UD client commands. Now, for the urban code deploy component version task, a component name and version are required. This task will create a new component version for an existing component, then upload a specified file to that component, and link back to the build that created it, and finally tag the component with a predefined tag. I already have a Batman component, and for the version I'm going to use the current build ID. I'm going to upload the archives test file to my component and tag it as release. Now I save and queue the build. Here is the result of the first call. You can see the task calls out to the UD client with the connection information and specified command. This first command uses the token form of authentication. The dash dash verbose command itself doesn't do anything other than print out the available UD client commands. The second task uses the username and password authentication mechanism and strings together several calls to the UD client. The first one here creates a new version of the Batman component based on the build ID. The second call uploads the archive test jar to the file to the component. The third call creates a link in this new component version to point back to the build that created it. And finally, a call is made to tag the component version as a release. On the Urban Code Deploy server, we can see the results. Here is the pre-existing Batman component. Here is the new version that we just created based on the build ID along with the release tag we added. In the component version, we can see the test.jar we just uploaded, and here is the link that points back to the build that created it. Now, if you don't want to install the UD client on your build machine, or you want to use a hosted build machine, you can upload the UD client jar file to your source repository and specify the path here in the advanced section as I have done. 
As you can see in this build example, it is possible to enter any number of possible UD client commands. Just be sure to separate each argument on a new line so they are properly parsed. Variables are supported in all fields of both tasks. This particular build replicates the urban code deploy component version task to demonstrate what is possible. All of the code is freely available on GitHub and we welcome feedback and contributions. Thank you for watching.